From a giant crane crashing through a sacred temple in Thailand, and a glacier calving in Alaska catching a kayaker off guard, to a rocket launch in Florida seen from the window of a passenger plane, and a wind turbine demolition you just have to see for yourself, here are 10 more moments you wouldn't believe if not filmed. On the Malay Peninsula, about an hour's flight south of Bangkok, sits the municipality of Nakhon Si Tamara. It's one of the oldest cities in Thailand and is known for its beautiful Buddhist temples. But even these sacred structures need remodeling from time to time. In August of 2020, officials at an older temple hired a contractor to disassemble the structure. According to the Bangkok Herald, they'd already paid 3 million Thai baht, or about $80,000, for a new temple nearby. However, the only way to take down the shrine was to remove the 50-foot smokestack. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. The crane operator grossly miscalculates where the arm is and collides with the smokestack. While it seems like a love tap, the force is enough to dislodge some bricks. Seconds later, the bottom portion crumbles and the smokestack falls like a dead tree. A worker connected a hook to the smokestack before the camera started rolling. When the tower falls, the weight pulls the crane with it. Monks look on in horror as the crane arm plummets through the sacred crematorium. Thankfully, nobody was hurt during the accident. Some believe the spirits of the dead didn't appreciate their final resting place being disturbed and took matters into their own hands. Locals across the province swore they heard the screams of a hundred souls. Brighton, Massachusetts is a Boston suburb about 20 minutes west of the city center. The winter of 2009 was rough in New England, with 11 inches of snow falling after a December storm passed just before Christmas. One family living on a lake decided this was the perfect time to cut down a 70-foot elm tree in their front yard. They soon learned the hard way why we have professional tree removers. And it's going the wrong way! Oh my gosh! Well, I don't think I got that, but that was not good at all. We just took out half the house. There's a frozen lake beneath the snow, and the plan was to let the tree fall into it. But judging how close that tree is to the house, we're surprised they didn't call someone to remove it. Our DIY dad makes a few more cuts, thinks to himself, and then cuts some more. Then, catastrophe strikes. The tree falls the wrong way and takes out their porch. We assume the roof repairs cost more than hiring professional tree removers. So how much does tree removal cost in Boston? Well, it depends on the type of tree and the complexity of the job. On the low end, it'll cost about $300. On the high end, about $1,500. It gets more expensive if the tree is near power lines or other buildings. So, judging by their position on the lake, this tree wouldn't have cost much. The moral of the story? Always hire a professional.
About 60 miles south of Anchorage, Alaska, in the Chugach National Forest, you'll find a 3,500-foot ice formation called Spencer Glacier. The glacier carves an ancient path through the National Forest and towers over Spencer Lake below. Visitors can hike, kayak, and camp in the recreational area to enjoy the Only in Alaska experience. In August of 2019, Andrew Hooper and his friend set off on a kayaking trip from the Kenai Peninsula. They wanted to catch a glimpse of Spencer, and his wife warned him not to get too close. She was pretty disappointed when he came home soaking wet. Man, when that whole thing goes, oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Oh my god! Look at look at that thing! Oh, oh my god! Look at it! to be alive right now. <laughs> Andrew heard a cracking sound coming from the arch and knew it was about to collapse. He and his friend positioned themselves for the money shot, and sure enough, the whole thing began crumbling. First, a small chunk falls into the water, followed by a few more. Then, the entire structure caves in, sending a massive splash of freezing cold water at the camera. Tsunami waves turn his kayak around, which is actually pretty dangerous. Ideally, he wants to hit those waves head on. Once they return to shore, Andrew caught up with the reporters from the Anchorage Daily News. He said it was absolutely gorgeous watching the raw power of the glacier as it fell in, a beautiful event that we were lucky to have survived. Looking back on it, Andrew admits they were way too close. Perhaps an I told you so moment for his wife. North Ayrshire is one of 32 council areas, basically states, in southern Scotland. About 40 miles southwest of Glasgow in the northern village of Fairley, SSE Renewables decided to build a massive wind turbine for testing purposes. They planned on using the turbine as a tester for offshore wind farms, but this confused the locals who wondered why they'd build an offshore turbine in their backyard. Regardless, the turbine served its purpose, and SSE decided to tear it down. A flock of birds flies away moments before they detonate the charges. We see bits of shrapnel fly up once they press the button, and then the colossal structure comes tumbling down. It makes an oddly satisfying sound on its way, and looks like something you'd see in an action movie. The locals were more than happy to see the turbine go. Many of them felt it was way too close to their homes. Chongqing is one of four Chinese municipalities under the direct administration of the CCP, the others being Beijing, Shanghai, and Tianjin. According to the Nature Index, they're the 51st leading science city in the world as of 2021. And you'd think with all those smart people, they could tear a building down safely. In December of 2014, workers at a demolition site in the city got busy taking down a five-story building. They used a giant jackhammer attached to a backhoe to weaken the structure, but failed to anticipate how it would fall. By the time they realized what was happening, it was too late. 
Most of the first floor is gutted, and our driver hammers away at the support beam. Our cameramen watch from a safe distance, anticipating that the building could fall at any second. The driver seems satisfied and starts backing away moments before the building crumbles. Initially, it seems to go according to plan, but then the building tilts left and almost lands on the excavator. The entire scene disappears behind a massive dust cloud. According to local reports, the driver was okay and nobody got hurt during the collapse. On May 18th of 2021, the United Launch Alliance, or the ULA, launched an Atlas V rocket into space from Cape Canaveral in Florida, about 50 miles east of Orlando. The rocket launched a missile warning satellite, known as a Space-Based Infrared System Geosynchronous Earth Orbit, or SBIRS-GEO. Rocket enthusiasts could pay $20 to stand about 5 miles from the launch pad at the Banana Creek launch viewing area. Or you could be Andy Lynn, who was lucky enough to see the launch for free from the window seat of his passenger plane. Oh my god! The pilot comes on over the speaker and informs the passengers of a launch happening out the left window. We watch as the Atlas V cuts through the clear sky and disappears into the nether of space. A few things had to go right and wrong for Andy to get this amazing shot. He was on his way from New York to Cancun and happened to pass over East Florida at launch time. The launch was also delayed by 24 hours due to an issue with the rocket's liquid oxygen system. Andy was asleep when the pilot made the first announcement, but he was lucky enough to wake up and start recording. He called it absolutely surreal and one of the most awe-inducing experiences of his life. About 30 minutes south of Bangkok sits the coastal province of Samut Prakan, Thailand. In October of 2019, locals at a gas station witnessed a small tornado spinning up nearby. Usually, these events aren't strong enough to cause much damage, but this twister was a different story. Our store owner was tending to her shop when she saw people running outside. That's when she saw the tornado spinning over the gas station and pulled out her phone to record. <laughs> People run from the vortex as it gets closer to the gas pumps. You can see it ripping debris off the buildings and pushing our camerawoman's door open. Someone runs inside at the last second as it passes over the store. The owner tries to follow it down the alley, but it's long gone. According to the Weather Network, this was a gust nado, not a dust devil. Gust nados are short-lived, ground-based twisters that form on the edge of a severe thunderstorm. Meanwhile, dust devils form when the ground gets too hot, causing the air to become unstable. Both are usually harmless, but this gust nado was strong enough to rip glass windows from their frames and damage a few cars. The prefecture-level city of Nanyang sits in the southwest region of Hunan province. 
Their position in central China makes them highly susceptible to landslides, like the one that occurred on February 13th of 2022. Traffic came to a screeching halt as police blocked the street. We imagine someone warned of an imminent landslide, or they're just accustomed to the warning signs. Either way, these motorists were lucky that someone was paying attention. Spectators watch as massive boulders roll down the mountain. Our older motorcyclist backs his bike away, knowing he'll have to go back the way he came. The dust cloud begins to settle, and it looks like someone forgot to dig a tunnel when they built the road. Tiny rocks keep falling as our spectators go in for a closer look. Imagine how long it took to safely clear all that debris. According to local media, nobody got hurt in the landslide, and the cleanup process began once the rocks stopped rolling. Kericho is an African town nestled in the highlands west of the Kenyan Rift Valley. Regarding strange weather, Kericho holds the record for the most frequent hailstorms in a year—132 days on average. But on May 1st of 2020, another odd weather event made headlines worldwide. According to the Weather Network, a sinkhole formed after heavy rain tracked through the area. At first, the sinkhole pulled in water from a large puddle, but then it got hungry and swallowed everything nearby. <laughs> The sinkhole creates two whirlpools in the murky puddle. Both pull in water at first, but then they start swallowing all the straw grass. The grass gets sucked in like a powerful vacuum, and we can't imagine how deep this sinkhole goes. You can hear the locals gathering around the site, mesmerized by what they're seeing. The East African Rift Valley is an active tectonic zone that's slowly splitting apart from the African plate. When the plates shift, they can expose cracks and holes, which become visible when the overlying soil erodes. When that happens, you get bizarre-looking sinkholes like this. Kruger National Park is one of the largest game reserves in Africa. Located in northeastern South Africa, on the border of Mozambique, wildlife enthusiasts can enjoy nine different safari adventures. While on vacation in December of 2013, one family learned how protective a mama lion can be of her cub. 
Their safari car had just rounded a corner when they spotted a mama lion walking with her cub in her mouth. But something seemed off. The mama lion looked nervous and kept running back to check on her other cub. Then they noticed what had her on edge. A young male stares at the mama lion. He might be hungry, and those cubs look like a tasty snack. But mama is ready to put up a fight. She charges the other lion and slaps him silly. The kids in the safari car were expecting the Lion King, but they got a humbling dose of Mother Nature instead. The male lion walks off, and Mama returns to her cubs. According to Animal Food Planet magazine, lions will only eat other lions during desperate times. However, males will sometimes eat cubs when staking their claim on a lioness. As carnivores, lions prefer eating grazing animals. That means they don't hunt other carnivores because meat-eating animals don't provide the necessary nutrients. So the male in this video was either desperate for food or wanted to mate with the lioness. Talk about rejection, right? To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.